Florida. 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 St. Augustine. Wikiwachi Springs. Fun, sun, sand, and sea. And believe it or not, gators can sing. All right, we just woke up from our stay at the Surfside Beach uh, Oceanfront Hotel. We got our ocean view room here right beside the new pier. They just finished this pier uh, late last year, so this is a brand new pier they just built. And uh, yeah, there's no ocean front rooms at this place, but you got this side ocean view, which is nice. And we're, we got this room really close to the beach here. But yeah, maybe I'll go down there and walk out on the beach for a little bit. But yeah, here's our room. And this was a good room. I mean, there wasn't really any noise or anything like that. This is what used to be here. This uh, little amusement park was here. And I, this is pictures from 1967. I don't know when it closed, but this hotel is what replaced it. But yeah, like, there's not a lot of good places to stay along I-95, so... I mean, this is pretty much right off of I-95. And if you want to stay by the beach, it's a good option. Surfside Beach is a really nice little beach. Um, I've never been here before. We've been to Myrtle a bunch of times, but uh, never been down here. This is like in between Myrtle Beach and Murals Inlet. And yeah, this is a nice little town here. There's not like a ton of stuff, but there's like, this area right here has a bunch of restaurants and there's like a little strip with a bunch of shops and restaurants. Um, that, go, that goes up to King's Highway from here. And then, yeah, like the location for this place is really nice. It's a good option to stay here if you're going down to Florida and you from the north and you want to find a halfway point to stay at, but don't want to stay right off of I-95. And you got the added benefit of being at the beach. So, yeah, it's really cold out here. It's... <laughs> February 25th, so yeah, it doesn't get too warm down here in the winter, I guess. Maybe some days, but today is not one of them. Alright, I guess we'll, we're gonna go down, we're gonna check out, and we're gonna go down, and uh, I'll show you the beach a little bit from the ground, and the area here before we leave. Alright, so I was going to walk up to the beach here, but I don't know where exactly where the beach access is, to be honest. Maybe I'll walk over here. This is the new pier that they just finished building, uh, I think in like November last year. And yeah, over here is like a bunch of bars and restaurants and stuff. And then they got like a bar and grill over here, like oceanfront. This was like right across from where our room was last night. I mean, if you come on a weekend, there's a little bit of noise from the restaurants and bars and stuff, but it's nothing too crazy. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything like on the pier, if it's just like a fishing pier. There's like some building, like a building here. I guess there's like an ice cream shop there. Dippy's ice cream. Uh, and this is the River City Cafe. So yeah, here's the pier, the end of the pier. I guess you can fish off of here.
yeah, it's not really a beach day. I mean, obviously when you come in February, you're definitely not going to be swimming in the ocean or anything like that. It gets a little bit cold, but yeah, like it's nice enough to walk out on the beach and enjoy the beach. And you got like a bunch of uh, residences and private houses and stuff here. Yeah, I'm not gonna walk down the beach or anything. Like, we're, we wanna get to Florida, so we wanna get on the road. It's about a six hour drive down to St. Augustine from here. So yeah, keep that in mind if you wanna pick um, you know, Myrtle Beach area as a halfway point. Yeah, I think there's like beach access like directly at the hotel too. I think there's like a bar down on the bottom floor and then you can come out to the beach over that way. But if you want beach access, I'm pretty sure this is public parking up here and then you can just come down this way. But yeah, this is a cool beach. Like, I don't think a lot of people know about it. I think this is like the beach that the locals come to definitely a lot more laid back and quiet than Myrtle Beach. There's the hotel we stayed at last night. I do recommend that place. I mean right now the rates are good because it's off season. I don't know what it's like in the spring and summer but... So you got a bunch of restaurants and bars over here. Bubba, Bubba's Fish Shack has a big punk yellow shark. And you got Pizza Pizza Hyena. The Gracious Pig. <laughs> yeah, are they gracious to be eating? <laughs> so yeah, basically at Surfside Beach you have that area there with the hotel that we stayed at and the pier and all those restaurants and then you got this like little strip up here that on the way up the King's Highway. So we're gonna get breakfast at uh, this place called Benjamin's. They have this cute little mural on the side of the building here. And then there's a bigger mural over on this building over here. This is a really cool one. Out of it from here. But yeah, this is supposed to be a good breakfast place. It's got the highest rating on TripAdvisor. So we're gonna get some breakfast here. Alright, so I got a Ricky Bobby sandwich from Benjamin's. It's a steak and egg sandwich with uh, onions and aioli. And yeah, really good, very good bagel. Uh, seems like a very good place to get bagels. And yeah, uh, you said the coffee's good? It's so good. 
Yeah, Benjamin's highly recommended if you're in the area for breakfast. All right, so this is the Jaws Resort where beach wear off of Kings Highway. Got this big fiberglass shark outside. I guess they have live sharks in there, but I don't know if it's open yet or not to see. Yeah, this giant shark has like red <laughs> glowing eyes. Like, I guess at night you can see it more. It's pretty cool. Cool entrance. And there's like another big shark head over here. is right off of King's Highway all the way down at near like Merle's and what yeah if you want a much quieter beach than Myrtle Beach uh, Surfside Beach and Merle's Inlet are good places to go Got some stuff up in the window over here. I think when it's open, there's they have like the soundtrack of Jaws playing outside too. We have about a six hour drive down to Florida from southern uh, Myrtle Beach area. South uh, Surfside Beach is where we stayed last night. We're in like murals in light area right now. And I think the way it's taking this is like the coastal highway that goes down through Charleston. But yeah, we don't really want to stop anywhere. Like
like for too long. There's like two little stops we might do, but uh, kind of just want to get down to St. Augustine because we only have the full day tomorrow plan and we have a lot of stuff on the itinerary and I don't know if we're going to get it all done tomorrow. So if we get down there tonight, we might be able to do one or two things that we were going to do tomorrow. Yeah, we got about six hours, so it's going to be mostly driving today, but I think we're going to stop at the smallest church in America, in Georgia, and then probably the Florida Welcome Center when we get to Florida. So, yeah, I guess we'll see you at either one of those, whichever comes. I guess, yeah, obviously the, the smallest church. Oh yeah, Georgia Peach World too, which is just like a fruit stand. <laughs> it's got like uh, some kitsch stuff out front, so I don't know. It's, it's I, I class it as a roadside stop. So yeah, there's that uh, smallest church. I would stop in Charleston because I've never been there, but because uh, we're actually driving through Charleston, but. Well, from what I saw, from what I saw, um, it's hard to find a good spot to park in Charleston, and then you have to walk pretty far from like the parking garages and stuff to get to the like historic stuff. So, we're probably not going to do that. We just want to get down to St. Augustine tonight, like before it gets dark. So, yeah, I guess we'll see you at one of the. Stops. Alright, we're here at Georgia Peach World. We found the pecan roll. <laughs> I was hoping they had it here. I was hoping I didn't have to look for a Stuckies to get one. But yeah, they have all kinds of different peach stuff here. Peach salsa, peach, just get jarred peaches. Uh, they got all kinds of peach drinks, peach cider. Peach jelly, peach, uh, peach uh, almond butter, <laughs> peach honey butter, dark chocolate peach butter. What is it? Vanilla peaches. What are, what are these? Oh, muffin mix. Cobbler mix. Yeah. You can get Peach World uh, glasses and shot glasses. You can get Peach World shirts. Candy, fudge, hot peach gobbler. Mm. Nice. Get 
Peach World Magnus and stickers. Pecan pie. Oh yeah, the gator heads. Every every tourist trap down south has a gator heads. Gator jerky. You can get a giant bag of pecans. This is a back scratch? Yeah, you never saw it before. It's so unhinged. Yeah. I don't know if that, like people actually use it as that. It's more like a joke, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, imagine actually like scratching your back with a dead gator's paw. <laughs> no. Pecans? Are they just regular? Are they glazed? Oh, they're the glazed ones. Mm. Good. Yeah, I'm thinking try one. This is the glaze. Which one did you try? This one. Mm -hmm. I think I want ice cream. Oh, they are good. Wow. You gonna get some peach ice cream? So here at Peach World, they have some stuff out front here, some weird... <laughs> uh, this actually gives like tourist trap energy. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I did see pictures of this before. It's like, who thought of like taking like mannequins from a clothing store and turning the... Yeah, they like took mannequins from. Actually, you know what? Are those like those mannequins? Are they like cr like crash test dummy mannequins? Maybe the way they look, that they, they could be, and they turned them into animatronics. Well, that one's an animatronic. Yeah, we got the peach ice cream, and I got my pecan log. I think it's Stuckies. They're called pecan roll, but it's the same thing. How's the Ice cream. Peachy? Yeah. It reminds me of the oatmeal packets that are like peaches and cream. It looks more like sherbet. But cold. Is it like really sweet or is it sour? It's sweet. Just like the color of it looks like sherbet. Mm-hmm. Alright, I'll try some in the car then. So yeah, there's not a whole lot of stuff in Georgia off of I-95. This is one of the things you can stop at. It's a nice little shop to get some snacks or something on the road. All right, so that was Georgia Peach World. Cute little, uh, what do you call it? It's a snack shop. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's a roadside stop, but I mean, what do you call that specific type of place? Uh, Fruit, not really a fruit stand because they didn't have fresh fruit. More like a, what, a dessert shop, a snack shop, something like that. But now we're going to the smallest church in America. And then we'll be in Florida shortly after, so we'll see you at Tiny Church. Alright, so we did stop at the smallest church in America. There was already two other cars there waiting. And I didn't really want it would be weird to like get out and start filming while people were there. So uh, we decided to just leave and go to the Florida Welcome Center because it closes at five. And I want to get that free cup of orange juice. So <laughs> I think we have just enough. We can make it just in time. Yeah, I haven't actually been to the Florida Welcome Center in a really long time because the last few times I've gone down to Florida we didn't get there until late. It's only open until 5 o'clock for some reason so I haven't gotten a free orange juice basically since I was a kid so I'm trying to make it this time since we're so close to it. So hopefully we'll get there in time. Are you going to choose orange juice or grapefruit juice? <laughs> Oh, we'll see. <laughs> see it when we get there. It's time to party. We're almost in Florida.
All right, we made it to the Welcome Center with only 10 minutes to close this. Hopefully there's still some orange juice left. What if it's like out of orange juice? <laughs> we got an orange dolphin. Okay, we got our free OJ. <laughs> the Florida Rite of Passage. <laughs> They have the uh, mascot, I guess the superhero mascot of Florida over here. I think it's Florida Citrus Man, I think is his name. <laughs> Florida Citrus Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. look, he has they have the Avengers comics with him in it. Oh, Captain Citrus. It's Captain Citrus, that's his name. I love the background they have here in the wall. <laughs> and then they have this whole, like, these walls full of pamphlets for all of the Florida attractions and stuff. I've never been so excited about citrus. <laughs> excited about citrus. But we're going to be going to the showcase of citrus, so maybe I'll get more excited for citrus there. They've got this fiberglass uh, astronaut here. And then I guess the Space Coast stuff's probably, yeah, this is all Central Florida. All right, so check out this big stack of booklets and pamphlets I got <laughs> and brochures. <laughs> like I always come out of here with like a outlandish <laughs> stack of stuff, but yeah, there's coupons and all kinds of stuff in these. I got all the stuff that we're going to. So we're going to, St. Augustine right now and then we're there until Tuesday and then I got Tarpon Springs we're gonna be going there we're gonna be going down to like Cocoa Beach so I got the Space Coast one uh, I got Universal for when we go there next week we got Disney Springs we got the Fountain, Fountain of Youth I don't think we're going to be going on the St. Augustine alligator farm, but I got it just in case we decide to. Um, I got this St. Augustine map. I got Disney World. I got an official guide map of just general Florida attractions. And sometimes I get these things, like, even if I don't really plan on going to it, it's like stuff that I just want to hang on to and like, like, you know, 40 years, 40, 50 years from now, this might be something you want to have. <laughs> the Wizard of Oz yeah, Museum. You're a hoarder. <laughs> I'm only a hoarder of tourism uh, related things. Uh, we got the Tampa Bay book, Undiscovered Florida. In about 16 miles, take exit 362 to merge onto I 295 toward Jacksonville Beach. Official source for Florida travel planning. My Heart Orlando. We got the Orlando and Kissimmee Guide map. I think I grabbed two of those, but no, they're different ones. Enjoy Florida. $99. Yeah, right. Yeah, you have to do a timeshare thing. So yeah, we're finally in Florida. Does it feel like Florida? <laughs> We're making our way to St. Augustine. It's about an hour and eight minutes. Yeah, an hour and eight minutes. St. Augustine. See you there when we get to our hotel.
Okay, so we just arrived at the local. This is a cute little motel that we decided to stay at here in St. Augustine. It's like a, one of those self-check-in places where they don't have an actual like lobby, you just self-check-in and all that stuff. But they have an espresso bar over here and everything that you can go to, like it's open all the time. Check out this little lounge area, like espresso bar that's free for guests. That's awesome. And they have bike rentals over here too. I wonder how that works. You probably have to like pay for it with the app and then you probably scan your phone here. Download the app, check out a bike, use the app. To locate the bike station, press select a bike. Yeah, you pay you pay for it with the through the app, and then you just scan it with this, and then you can rent this bike. And you can ride the bikes to uh, the beach from here. The beach is like a half a mile down the road there, and then they got the lighthouse and everything. Yeah. And there's really not too many people staying here. What, there's only like six cars here? All right, we're in St. Augustine. We checked into our motel and now we're at Mellow Mushroom, which is literally like, a, like 200 feet from our motel. The motel is so cute. It's awesome. Yeah, I mean, we love Mellow Mushroom. <laughs> Was this the first one we were at? I think Tennessee. Oh, that's right. We went to the one in Tennessee first. But yeah, this one has some cool, like, Florida-related stuff. But yeah, they got this alligator. I don't know what it... What is it made out of? Wood? Like, driftwood? Like, from the ocean or something? And then they have, like, the, like, Span Spanish uh, explorer guy over there. Then you got, like, your standard, like, 70s uh, rock, 60s and 70s rock stuff on the walls and all that. They got like a big mural up here that's uh, related to St. Augustine. So that's cool. This is like the bar area here. But we got, I think we got the best table in the place, right? Like this is the booth table and there's like only two of them. <laughs> Yeah, there's only like two booth tables and we got one. <laughs> I always want a booth. I didn't, I didn't ask for it. Yeah, this is like all like specific artwork. I don't, do they all have like specific artwork like themed to the place that they're in? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think the one in Tennessee was themed to Tennessee. Yeah. Yeah, we're excited. We got the holy shiitake pie. That's the one we always get. It's like... It's like a white pizza with uh, shiitake mushrooms and I don't remember what all is on it, but it's a lot of mushrooms. <laughs> so yeah, we're excited to get our pizza and I guess we're going to go back to our motel and just chill the rest of the night, right? All right, we just got our holy shiitake pie and I'm starving, so this is going to be amazing. We only ate like one meal today and it was only a breakfast sandwich. <laughs> Do you know what like the sauce is on it? I don't remember. It's kind of like a ranch type of sauce or something. Not ranch. I don't know. Maybe aioli or something. Yeah. But yeah, it's so good. I mean, I can't wait. Florida, the land of fun, sun, sand, and sea.